Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin will testify before the House Armed Services Committee about his secret hospital stay this Thursday. It comes as the Pentagon released its report saying, quote, although as hindsight has shown, the process for making decisions to transfer the secretary's authority could and should be improved as further explained in the recommendations approved by the secretary, nothing examined during this review demonstrated any indication of ill intent or an, or an attempt to obfuscate. Whoa, that's Texas, a lot of big words. A lot of big words. Texas Congressman Ronnie Jackson is a physician who serves on the House Armed Services Committee, and the congressman joins us now. Congressman, great to have you. In light of this report and your reaction to it, what questions will you be asking Lloyd Austin on Thursday? Well, I want to know what, what happened, and I want to know why I won't take personal accountability for this. This is a big problem that we have right now in the Department of Defense, and it, honestly, it's a problem that we have through our government right now is uh, people in the upper levels, in the uh, upper echelons of authority will not take responsibility for what happened. And I just think it's time for him to resign at this particular point. The American people have lost trust and confidence in our Secretary of Defense. It started you know, with the disastrous withdrawal in Afghanistan and the fact that we got 13 Americans killed there. We turned over countless uh, dollars worth, millions of dollars worth of equipment that are now being used. I talked to an ally of ours not too long ago uh, that are still fighting with the Taliban and ISIS, and they are using our night vision and our small weapons uh, against them. Uh, so this is this has been horrible. Uh, he, he's not been a good leader. Uh, you know, I also, uh, I, I should point out that, you know, he has an important role that, is complete, that he put our safety and security at risk. Somebody asked me the other day with the, when the her report came out, and there were all these questions about Biden's cognitive ability. Ability. They, they were really concerned. They said, can this man be in control of our nuclear you know, capability and our nuclear response? And they said, sure. But they said, tell me that there, are other, that there are checks and balances here, that it's not just up to him. And there are checks and balances to some extent, but the response time would be really quick with a matter of minutes. And part of the big, uh, the other person that would be involved in this would be the Secretary of Defense. And we had a situation when he was in the hospital where we have a, a commander in chief who may or may not be, I would say not, cognitively capable of, uh, of doing what needs to be done and making these decisions. And then we have a, a secretary of defense who's mm -hmm. completely MI missing in action. No one knows where he's at or what's going on. That is a recipe for disaster. That is a danger to this country. And it's a, it's a big national security issue. He needs to answer these questions. He needs to explain to us what happened. He needs to explain to us why he has not stepped up to the plate, taken personal responsibility for this and resigned because that's what he would expect from a, a subordinate of his that had gone through this same particular process. Right, well, they, they want their subordinates to be accountable but they're not accountable. Congressman, uh, Thursday is going to be a big day because while Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is going to be addressing Congress, President Biden and former President Trump are also going to be visiting your home state of Texas, the southern border. Notable about Biden's trip is that he's going to Brownsville, Texas, uh, which has been getting around 300 border crossings a day. If he wants to actually see this crisis, he shouldn't be going there. Right. I mean, last time they went to El Paso, they go to El Paso, and this, they need to go to to the Del Rio area. They need to go to uh, you know the areas where we have a lot of folks that are crossing the border. Uh, that's where President Trump will be. You know, go and see what the actual problem looks like. But this is just uh, this is just for show. They're under incredible pressure right now politically because of what's going on, uh, because the sanctuary cities are are, are are demanding that you know that something be done now for a change. Only because the Texas governor pushed uh, people uh, to these. Sanctuary cities, and we put our National Guard and our uh, our DPS officers and stopped the flow. And now the flow is transferred to other places, and it's a problem for some of these Democrats. That's the only reason he's going is to try to. Is this is an election year, and he's trying to appease. Uh, the people in the party that uh, that are that are pushing back on this right now. Otherwise, he wouldn't go. Right. This is by design. This is his border crisis, and and this is uh, the way it's supposed to be working yeah. for them for the there, last three years. There's also not a border crisis in Seth Meyers' studio at 30 Rock, but he visited there, spent a right. lot of time. Congressman yeah. Ronnie Jackson, we appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.